Apparently this does not work for you, or is it? Yeah, it's cool. Points. So you're recording it? Yeah. It's gone. I just uh, minimized it to try and oh, come figure on. out why. There we go. Okay. It doesn't work. All right. Uh, well, while you do that, if we're recording, I'll just call the meeting to order. Um, today, June 20th, 2022. I, Deborah Flanagan, in attendance. Dan Byer, Ruth O'Grady, Jane Lowell, and, and Janice Moore is online. I don't believe, I don't think we put minutes together for the last, so we got to, I'm hoping that maybe we can talk about minutes and see if anybody wants, wants to, do to them. record. I know, I offered, <laughs> I did. What, did. what happened to our... The man that was taking minutes. He quit. Oh, he did. Yeah. You didn't see him on. Um, I didn't see him the last well, time. No, he said that he quit when we were discussing this historic district uh, on Facebook. He said he quit because he didn't agree with it. And he, he was actually the one who volunteered mm -hmm. to research the houses on watching this. <laughs> what didn't he agree with? Making it an historic he felt district. confused is what he emailed me. So anyhow, oh whatever. Okay. okay. Anyway. Any hoot. Um. So yeah. So I do need somebody to record. I believe. Do we have? Are we short one member? Could we recruit another member? Well, so yeah. I mean, I think. Let me look at the website. Um. Well, is what about Mark Aquino? He was a member, but he. Yeah. We should probably talk to him about to what his Keyes, commitment so. level is, yeah. I think. Well, I think actually, according to the town bylaws, if you miss three meetings in a row, it's not a bylaw. Even. Oh, it isn't? No, nope. it's oh. just in the, it's the recommendation from the select board. Okay. All right, that's good. <laughs> um, okay, Dan. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so we have one full vacancy, plus we should talk. Uh, Mark's term is up oh, next year. Um, my, isn't my term up this year? Janice, Jane, Ruth, yeah. Um, I I re-upped. The two, oh, I don't know, this says 20, 630, 2022, but this could be very wrong. So we have to send a letter, is that it? No, I just, just an email. I sent an email to, to Laura. To who? Um, the administrative assistant. To, oh, to just tell her we want You have to, okay. she should have sent everyone uh, like, do you want to be reappointed? But, but it would have no, gone to your town say, email. It seemed like I saw something, but I can't find it now. Did um, she send it on the town email? Yes. Because it did seem to me like I saw something, and then I went back to look well, for I, it. I, I saw it. it, you know. But I think that um, Stacy Oliva, okay. I had talked to her, so I she I tell her she should send, submit a letter of interest okay. to the board. So she is interested? So I think she would be one, and then we have two more alternate spots. Plus, you can, I mean, we have the two Dudleys. Okay. Um, I know they're they're probably pretty busy too. Yeah. But at least we know we have two if we need an alternate. Okay. Um, All right. So I'm going to say recruitment. So, How long are our terms for? I think three years. Three years, aren't they? Oh, three years. Yeah. This um, website could be totally wrong. Got. So. I know it has. Actually. Updating. How time flies. Hmm. Yeah. So, so we'll talk about, maybe we'll shoot out a couple of emails on to Stacey Oliva and then we'll touch base with Mark, see where he's at. This is probably a bad time for him, right? Because he works at I Southwick's. was going to say that this zoo is so busy. Yeah, he works at And Southwick's. in the wintertime, he's getting, he does all of the um, civil defense, the light displays there at the oh, zoo. Oh, he sets them oh yeah. Uh oh, I know that. Um, <clears throat> all right. So that's that. I think I'm just going to put it in my Apple yeah. notes. And all. In terms of minutes, I, I kind of think at this point we need to just divide up all the meetings and everybody's got to pick five and transcribe them. We're like a year behind. Yeah. Okay. That would oh, be, boy. Um, <laughs> It'd be great. I'm trying to. I don't think um, we ever got even minutes from the day that was his name last. The what? Yeah, they're all recorded. The member. Right. 
We've been recording them, I think. Um, there could have been a couple where maybe we forgot to hit record. No. Well, I started. What time did the meeting start? Six oh two. Six oh two. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm I'm with putting them right in here in my Apple. Notes, oh, okay. So All right. As we go, okay. you'll hear well, me my, I clamoring. Do it, I do it on my computer, except it's only. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about it. Uh, mine's fully charged, so okay. I've got it. And that way, this way, you can just copy and paste. And um, I mean, if you have it. notes, if you just want to send it to me, I, I can clean them up. Through because I am, I'm the worst note taker. I'm too mad. Um, but I, I have to just go through all of my Apple Notes and see, which it's like looking through a. Oops. I wonder about Kathy Hackinson if she'd be interested. Maybe. I don't know. We talked to her a couple times with Historic over demo. <clears throat> yeah. She's well, she, the, yes, and she was at the, what, was the planning board? what did we go to? The hearing. The hearing. Yeah. yeah. And she was quite interested there, asked questions, so she might be. Well, I don't mind contacting Kathy. Why does <clears throat> If you want me to. Um, but I mean, I can update this list and put all the links next okay. to it, and then. All right, and then we'll just kind of all have to go. I think that's probably the only option we have, or just you know watch the meeting on quadruple speed and. All right. Excuse me. Okay, so as for projects, I. Don't, I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I haven't seen anything come through from you anyway. You'll be doing forward that my Yep, um, surprisingly. Fairly quiet for this time of year. Nothing new. Um, let's going just double on check. With, um, town hall. So, Anne just emailed today. I believe they got the bids in. And they're going to be discussing, hang on. Let me find her email because I replied because I, I haven't I've heard almost nothing and then all of a sudden. Okay. In observance, blah blah blah. There was not a meeting. Horsey went and done their due diligence, making a recommendation to the board to to award at their 6 p.m. meeting this Wednesday. If you have questions or want to hear about it, please join in. So they have a meeting this Wednesday. This will, yeah. I thought I had heard that the bids all came in fairly high, but I don't know. I that's why I replied to Ann and said, "What's the deal?" But. Okay. As far as I know, everything is progressing as planned. What are these bids for? This, the okay. campus project. Okay. Um, okay. The meeting is to take place on Wednesday evening to discuss the bids. Well, often the bid, I mean, the bids were always high because of the well, this, I mean, wage and the overhead. The, I mean, at this is point. Is it all done by like union contractors? Oh, it's, yeah, prevailing, what's well, prevailing wage plus right now materials cost. Yeah, like, right. I mean, over, mm, yeah. yeah. You know, at the Not beach, we're talking to, to a fence contractor and they flat out told us like, until you buy the materials and they're in your hands, the price isn't guaranteed mm. because but it's, great, like, great. it's a mess. Yeah. Yeah, the price of like cedar. What, what kind of fencing are you getting? This is chain link. Chain link. I guess it's very hard to come by. It's We're waiting even on on um, the like the, not plastic. What do I want to say? Vinyl fence. Mm -hmm. And they said it could be eight to ten weeks yeah. before it comes in. Yeah. So um, everything is back ordered. Oh, crazy. Well, so then nothing really. It's not like the design and everything's pretty much set in stone with the design. We're just waiting on the. Yeah. So I think the final. I don't know what came back fully to this commission. Um, they're going to do historic fixtures on plain light poles because the yeah. poles were too expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can't touch the other poles because it's too expensive. Yeah. They're not doing the, um, what do you call it? The stone. The stone the on the thing. front, but that, yeah. that's where they're targeting that mural idea. Yeah, so that would dress up that. Mural. Okay. Um, where, would the, where would the murals be? So right that, right you know that like knee wall outside? That's going to be turned into like a planter, hmm. and we wanted like a fascia on it that Stone, you know it. looked a little nicer. But it's not a veneer. Good. That's the word I'm looking right. for. But I think that's the the place we're thinking that's to do a, a mural. So the cultural council is going to commission somebody to come in and do it. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. They're working out that. 
And they are doing the brick in the front, though, which I think visually is, is yeah. a huge one. Um, actually, so speaking of projects, mm -hmm. technically this is not within our jurisdiction. They are going to paint the old library. Right. And I believe we are going to discuss the, the historic commission at seven. Kathy sent, I'm looking at this now, sent a thing with a bunch of options. Well, there are a lot of, there are a lot of, um, this is eight pages long. I'll let her explain it all, but paintings in the, in this, um, museum. Yeah. I mean, and, and it's all, they're all two colored, similar to the way they are now. Even the black and whites, it appears to be two toned. Um, black and white? Pictures, like if the old pictures. Oh, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh. Yes, yes. Sorry. Uh, so she sent. <laughs> I said, oh, please. No. That's not too bad. No, no. It can't be. It has to be different. Is there any, are there any like old photographs That's, where like someone yeah. kind of colored over them to try and match? You know what I mean? When they would. Um, I didn't see that, but I did see. I mean, there are paintings of. Oh, there's um, paintings. Basically. Oh. Um, the top is red like it is now, okay. and some of the, I think what the cream color is faded because it was a, a little darker, okay. um, like a light beige actually. Okay. Underneath, but um, I always kind of like the color it is now. I don't know. It's been like that for so long. <laughs> yeah, I mean the was? only. Was it this color the last time it was painted? If you look where that sign was, and if you look in the film from the 300th, it looks like it was more of a yellow, like a straw yellow on the bottom. I'll have to go back and look at some of those. But, so I was talking to Mike Jones, actually, the other the other week. <clears throat> he doesn't think any of this is the original siding. And like the top, those shingles don't look 100 years old. Can somebody? So it was probably they... redone at some point. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Um, yeah, but. Well, like this, I think this is the original siding on this building. Are those asbestos shingles? No. They're not. No, they're wood. No. They're wood. But I don't know. I mean, right there. 18? I, I mean, even this could have been resided, I suppose. I mean, the late 1800s? Well, it was cause cause I was going to say, my house down there is the 1800s, and I think it was the original cladboards. Oh, hmm. We've stripped them and, and painted them, but they were so the you original, had I think. Then. That's I mean, except said, for the ones we've had to he change. Had lead. But, yeah, yeah. And I don't think we have lead here anymore. I don't think they. Uh, I don't know. I don't well, know. probably was when they it was do. Started, they paint it over it. Way. Yeah, it's they paint over it. Yeah, people yeah. paint over it. I mean, yeah, I see it all the time. Especially so when you start to see like, if you look at the siding and it looks like um, alligated. Yeah, like all the little flaky. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I tested mine. Yeah. And it definitely was. Yeah, lead. But they say actually they're they're saying that it's better to paint over it than to, to strip it scrape off. Scrape it, and then it gets in and your water. You it. it just goes. We stripped everywhere. all ours off, and we burned it. <laughs> burned it off. There's um. It's not. When do we wear it? <laughs> the new code. Yeah, got lead poisoning. Is that with lead you need to like have so like technically they probably should have done it with this building. Nobody's. No. So you're supposed to like put like all tarps down all around. Mm. While you're scraping, they keep probably it need wet, to wear suits. It, yeah. You know what I mean? There's so many different things. But. I mean, I I burned all the paint off of the interior of my house. We hallway, did too. And I did not get lead poisoning. I know we did too. Wow. Well. Yeah. Yeah. But that was did a long you, time ago. Did you test your lead? Did you test your lead level? No. Yeah. Oh, you my did. My lead level? Yes. Oh, I we didn't. <laughs> well, you know. I was having four kids and no three. <laughs> Leah was already around. Our kids were actually young. When we did. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, I mean, they were like in school. So they're going to paint the town library. They're going to discuss that in a bit. Um, but like you said, we can't, we have nothing to say about the color. So. And they're not going to change out any of the siding. All the siding stays, right? Mm. Yeah, I would think. I mean, I, they're going to do the exactly same thing that they did in this building. They're going to yeah. scrape anything loose. They're not scraping to bare wood. Mm -hmm. They're going to, I warned them that all that railing on the top is all going to have to get repaired. Mm -hmm. I mean, they did, it's, I think, I don't know if she, oh, she did award the contract to that same Fox something that did this building. Um, they did really good work. Good. I mean, I was, I was mad because it was a mess that they pay, get all of the railing and I was going to say something and I, came and the guy's like, oh yeah, and they already, they repainted the railing, they cleaned it all up, they fixed all the wood on the back. Good. Um, 
they definitely they definitely are that's a good company are they going to match the trim that they have to take off the rotted areas with what's there i believe they're, yeah, that's what they have they'll do um this they just had to patch some parts in the back around the window um i know like up that van those balusters those are all rotted out let's see out these are they going to hire someone to wash these windows <laughs> you can yeah. hardly see out of them <laughs> i know yeah. well so we I've talked to Jody a few times. I believe there is appetite to propose re replacing all the windows on this building. The problem is we're going to have to hire an architect to like do a formal right. design on exactly what has to go. Kathy talked to the state and they told her what the process is. Well, the thing is too. I mean, if they talked to Chris Noonan, yeah, oh, I... he was he was beside himself when they put these replacement windows in, and then of course Milford. Did restored all the windows in right. their town hall. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's beautiful. No, we went yeah. out the other day and looked Gorgeous. at it. We'll be required to bring to to install restoration everything, but CPA can pay for it. Good. And I think there's interest in doing that. All the work. So if you go downstairs and look now, what Dan's doing, everything Dan Gardner, everything he's doing, get the stops can all get taken out with screws. The old treasurer's office. They are now going to try and restore the tin ceiling. They right. are. I guess. Jody finally we was convinced, um, so they're gonna they're gonna move stuff and try and salvage enough so there at least be one room with the original ceilings. Mm -hmm. But he was he was opening up walls. He found a beam that had been taken out. It was you know. He's a good he's a good. Uh, it was quite oh, the, Danny's Danny's quite the mess. Yeah. Yeah. He is a good carpenter. So anyway, at least that's some. Um, did, did he take out that corner upstairs? upstairs? Did he what? Take out that corner upstairs that that um, engineer had a question about. Um, I don't know. I know I've marked all this ceiling up here, and it doesn't seem to be moving. It's just I think that you know the plaster has come free. Now, have they ever okay. have they ever repaired the trusses? That that should have been done. Everything, as far as I'm aware, everything upstairs is 100% complete with that project. It's all been restructured and rebuilt. When we went up with that engineer with Kathy, we couldn't find anything broken. Because when we had, when we, when CBI yeah. went up there, there were some that had supposedly, I mean, they had been supposedly fixed years ago, but there were some over there that you could tell were split. Yeah, I don't, I thought when we went up with that engineer, we didn't see anything that was an issue. Huh. It was all solid. I don't know who did it. Because this is, this stuff is just plaster, but I think somewhere here is a mark on me. Yeah, it's but like the it, ceiling it's sagging. is sagging. Leaking. Yeah, it's sagging. Yeah. Something's going on. I don't there. think that's plaster sagging. So, I think it's the actual wallboard. I agree. February 22, there's the a lot of doesn't there, so sag. Um, the problem with this, I think, is if you touch it, it's all coming down. Mm -hmm. so you, have to, you basically have to plan on redoing it all. Hold up. You mean the tin ceiling? No, it's plaster. Oh, yeah. Well. And I don't think you can, like, reattach it. Is there right. access? So there's access. Up Is here. Danny doing this upstairs too? There's what? Danny's not touching access to get. He doesn't want to do this. So it's not part of it. There's just you can just. They're redoing those offices because that's yeah, their yeah. little. I mean, I just project. Who was doing this? We'd have to push for this stuff. He's so good at that. There's no. flooring up there. Oh, okay. But it's only, um, you know, at the in the hallway. Oh where you can really stand. He did a lot of stuff at our church like this, and it's, it's yeah. old. Well, so that's, I mean. He came in and did we that. Pr that's probably another thing, and it's probably more the commission than the district commission of going to the select board and saying, listen, like, we need to get somebody in here to figure this out. Maybe you just need a structural strip, sure, strip this out, you know, right. get this to not be painted anymore. It's all peeling anyway. I mean, it would be nice to do a restoration up here. I wish, I wish they would have gutted that whole second floor. Strip this ceiling. Like, yeah, get it back yeah. to what it yeah. was. But I don't Viking, know. anyway. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think whatever they're doing downstairs, I mean, it's I, it's a step this in the right direction. This whole right. Yeah. But you can see the molding. Yeah, I mean, it yeah. it it goes yes. up there and it goes up down there. Oh, so, but right. so I mean, it's really. I'm when we met with that guy, that's what he told us. So uh, this is all like built down here. There's not really access unless you're right. cutting into stuff. Oh. Um, so this continues this. This ornate up. does it continue down and around and it's just been covered with no, the No, I don't think so. I think this is what it always was. Maybe I don't know. 
be interesting. Have to look at some old pictures. Out. I think probably Dan's right, though. I doubt. I don't know. This was probably just an accent dealing. I was this has to be original plaster lath if it's doing that. Because the plaster goes through the lath and that's what holds it and then it comes out. This plaster is in too good of condition to be in original, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Yeah. I don't usually see it. This, and it's it's this it's nice very smooth. In um, mm. an older in a building. A lot of the old it. plaster is. Especially, I'm assuming Ask this God. was all steamed. Was this? Did they like? Was this? Steamed? It is steam it still because it there's radiators in the hallway. It it's hot water. The tall steam I, units at one point. Probably. I think. Yeah, I think these were converted. So when you have steam in the old plaster, usually all the plaster is like bubbled and warped from the moisture. We should ask like Mike Moroli might remember some of the people that were in here. I was in here. Yeah, like what was up here? We, I, don't I don't know if the pictures are going to show the ceiling. Exactly. I mean, this could be like a yeah. hundred years old, but I highly doubt it's Original. That's just my well, they. I'll go look again. My mother found the documents. From what I can tell, they built this in 1840, and then like 1930, 1920, 1930, they did a major renovation. Yeah. So that's what, like Mike Jones was saying, those outside, they poured all those to stabilize the foundation, yeah. and that's probably when that ramp was built. Right. So they likely could have done all this over, and they probably did because that was when they converted it from a school to a. So I'll have to read through and see if it talks about plaster work. Um, I haven't had the time to really analyze it. <laughs> uh, are they doing anything with the ramp out here? Nope. Just they're reconfiguring the lot in front of it, but I think the general consensus was touching that ramp is going to open a huge can of worms. I think it is. And it's also going to cost way more money than we have. Yeah. Um, well, actually, the it's too steep anyway it right. wouldn't be in compliance as best i can tell it was level with stairs and it was converted to a ramp at some point but that that was all probably done in that 1930s whatever project um but if you see the original um photographs of the town hall there is a stairway in the front mm. that comes right up um I bet we've got maybe. pictures at the historical of the so interior of this one we did. So it's probably like a picture of like a group. I may there. even have some at home. <laughs> from, I mean, we used to have minstrel shows and yeah. all, you know, music right and, and everything was held here. Yeah. But I think you'd right have right a picture front. of this. Yeah, I, yeah oh. here. I have a, Do you have exactly a picture of it with the stairwell? Yeah. Oh. That was that was done as part of that massive project in the 30s. Here, I'm not going to screenshot. I'll send you a photograph. Yeah. Um, hang on. I think he's got it. Yeah. It's... Dan has everything. Well, because I have this thing of all these folders from that Kathy, they like one of the first things they did and they scanned them all. Um, so hang on, here's one. I'll have to join the meeting. Come on. And downstairs was just one big room. One That's big what it, it well, was. Well, it was one big room and then there was a kitchen in the back. Right. Oh. Yeah. Like we used to have proms up here. And then we go downstairs for refreshments. Oh, really? And we used to have showers downstairs and parties, and so you know, what? you could rent the bar. You know, you yeah. could rent the town hall. We've had two or three family showers downstairs, huh. and it was a nice kitchen. We used to have dinners, lunch. Um, you know, the Unitarian Church was There's great for on church suppers. Um, was it originally a kitchen, like yeah. in the 1840s? Yeah, yeah. 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 That's probably where that. So, do you remember? Did it have a soapstone sink? Probably. Yeah. Is that we found it there next it is door? Right there. There's the picture oh, right this. there. There's the picture right there. That's what it used to look like. Oh. So see, okay. it's not both sides. So this is 19. Is this prior to the renovation? Yeah, this okay. picture. I don't know if it has a date on it. 1900-ish, probably. It's got to be pretty old because that car is. Yeah. 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 And that's the the Blackstone blacksmith shop. Because the upstairs was a school, I think. Or the no, the upstairs was a function hall. The, the main floor was a school. Yeah, downstairs they had classes. No, That's they, what it was. In fact, you know who went down the uh, Franny Irons' yeah, sister? There, she tells though. me she That's was in Florida. She went to school downstairs. Yeah, but it's they different. They had classes up here. Well, they may have, but the high school. It's, but they yeah. Yeah. Oh, hang on. It's different than it was. Like and you can see it's now. John Metcalf's yeah. grandchildren, yeah, two of his grandchildren that were for came graduated from the first high school class from the town hall. We got some stuff in our reunion stuff too. Of, like of look at all that graduations here. They brought the land up. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like well, that almost looks like a stone. Steps. It looks like they it, they were continuously working on it. That was yeah. a mirror in this picture. This picture is pre-1928. Yeah. But this other picture with it is 1906, so I assume it's a similar time. I think I have another one. Hang on. It's too bad about the mural. I think it had that nice. So oh, here we go. This is way you can't really see it. Yeah, but that's the old one with the stairs going up. That's the same yeah. with the stairs. And I think there's a better version of that somewhere. I've been through this like a bajillion times. My husband remembers the blacksmith 40s. shop being down here. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Well, so we think that part of that blacksmith shop. I mean, I don't know if they were still operating either, but he remembers the shop. Yeah. The they used it as a garage for yeah. a fire, I think. And, and that, they also, I think, used it for the scouts. It was, well, it got moved. That building in the back, that was part of it that they took down. Yeah, I'm trying to find. <laughs> that this. was the scout building, there we right? go. scout shack. Here, what they called it. <laughs> that's the. Blue no, that's the that's oh, the picture. But... It's old. Oh, I see. Um, so that's like the the blacksmith shop. Those are these stairs. There was a door here. Oh, okay. Um, Could you? Was, I wonder if that was like an access panel under the stairway. I don't know. We looked. We can't find um, any. Uh, I asked Dan because he opened some of that up. All right, that's the end of those. There's no evidence of a door there, but I don't know. It's a cool old building. That's for sure. Kathy is with us, apparently. Mm -hmm. oh. Hi. Hi. Hi, Kathy. Hi. I'm good. How, How are you? Good. We're just looking at pictures of the old town hall. <laughs> um, um, Linda, here's, here's a quarter of them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, You said the color of the library building? Yes. Okay. So we have appropriated funds given to the um, And they're now looking for color. Unfortunately, we're just having some sound. It's it's a uh, Kathy's end. Oh, it's on Kathy. Yeah. yeah. It's probably my end. Your audio okay. is garbage. So well, I'm sorry. Thanks, Dan. I'm asking. I'm going to ask you to repeat it because I don't think anybody caught what you said. So, Lynn, Lynn Roberts and I are coming up with quarter to seven. Okay. Um, and if you guys have a few minutes, the select board is ready to um, put an RFP out to please the library, okay. and they are looking for suggestions. Okay. All right. Yep. Ha, sorry, I'm pairing the remote while I'm listening to you. All right. Um, Do you have samples, Kathy? Um, I have a historic color palette um, to look at. And of course, the library colors that are on it now are part of that color ensemble. Dan, yeah, there you go, Dan. Thank you. Um, someone was saying they think that the bottom is more of a creamy straw, like a straw color. Here, if you, I'm not going to find it now. It's under that sign that got removed, but if we look at the, uh, in the 300th film, you can see it pretty clear. Um, Give me, you can keep talking. I'll pull it up. Yeah, I was just looking at the colors. I mean, it's that's been painted though since the 300. Oh, yeah, just looking at what it was. Are we going to try and match it as much as we can to what it was, or I think that's the question? Or, yeah, or yeah. yeah no, I just didn't know if we're going to try and match it as close um, to the old building as we can, or if you guys are looking for another historic so. palette essentially. It was this yellow. I have been um, I've been approached about maybe coming into a more contemporary color scheme that's historic, but not um, the colors that are on the building. Okay. 
have to be like outside. I don't know what you think about it. the front of it. Okay. I wonder if, I mean. She's okay. saying the colors are not historic that are on the building. No, they are, uh, Jane. I was going to say. I mean, when you say contemporary palette, are you, are you thinking like, what, what were gray blue yeah oh, yeah if you look at the samples <laughs> yeah. is putting up, yeah. you, know, you know do we go with you know a, a contemporary version of the historic yeah. i don't i don't think i would do the i don't know i mean i'm i don't actually care so i just know it can't i like what's on it shouldn't be white <laughs> way it is i would too i yeah i agree if anything maybe take that beige down down a notch maybe I'm yeah like, if that's, i think that i think going with like a red on the top i feel like that's kind of like yeah mending. yeah mending i agree that we've known yeah. so I agree. many years so i think it would be like kind of like when they painted the um men in country gift barn black and white oh, and everybody I know. was like what, what about metcast house yeah <laughs> Oh well. I, I think it's so. ultimately the decision of the commission. Right. But um, you know, I I personally like the red on top. Maybe you go like a little deeper with it, or maybe and maybe like the beige is a little bit more like the yellow yellowy or like a creamy color. Um, but then the question is if you do that, do you keep the white trim? So yeah. Um, right. I you could play around with it. There's different like um, apps where like say you have a picture and then you can like select which. Mm. You know what I mean? Like on the Benjamin Moore, maybe mm -hmm. the historic palette or whatever. Yeah. I don't know what historic palette you guys are using, but. Well, I know people look at our house and say, "Oh my gosh!" But it it actually is like the Hancock Clark House yeah. in Lexington. Yeah, so it is a historic color. Yeah, not a memory color. I just think um, I'm just looking at those. Colors. What do you think the color on the? I would say the color would be second row in right now, maybe like second one down. But maybe you go to like the top color. So I was gonna say the deeper. top color is nice. Yeah, yeah, a little deeper or the third or color even the down. Third one. Yeah, maybe the third one. Third down, yeah. second row. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, you know, if you are going to go beige, then maybe I would go second down, fourth row in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's a little bit lighter. But if you were going to go, I don't know. I feel like that red with the really creamy white and then the white trim might be a little bit much. You kind of want it toned down a little bit. So I don't know. I like the red. I talk about colors all day. I but. keep the red. I'm I'm with you on yeah, that. Red, and I like the top one. Do it more yellow. Do the the fourth row next to the um almost next to the bottom. The square next to the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's kind of chartreuse. Oh, I I I don't think I know because you want to be careful yeah. with the red and the two bright the red mm -hmm. and like a bright yellow because then you get like a yeah oh that's fine with me i'm just saying if yeah. you want to go yellow i like the second one down in the in the the beige the fourth row second. that's kind of like what i like but and then the and then maybe the third red second yeah one. second and third yeah um and it, then i wonder if you know i don't know if it's so like the trim color maybe it's not like a stark white maybe it's like a subtle more like, like an Alaskan white, white. Love or something. Or... The Alaskan white is off white. Yeah. Yeah. So kind of keep it warm and try and stay away from cool colors. Yeah. So, yeah. so the, the theme in this is that a lot of these colors have been mixed with white so that they are kind of misty looking. I wish my son is a painter and he's he's really he's got a good eye for when it comes to color. So what looks Who is pasty? that? Well, my son, my older um, son. Most of the colors do um, uh, look a little pasty because they white has been added to them. Yeah. So they're not pure colors. So I mean, it's I mean, where did you get hard because we're just looking at a computer screen? But I mean, where yeah. did you get the color chat from? 
Uh, yeah. Um, it is. It's at the top here. Yeah. Historic New England, I believe. Oh. Yeah. Wouldn't Benjamin Moore and some of those paint companies have um, historic? Yeah, ben has, Benjamin Moore has a historic palette. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe that's what we'll do is we'll play around with it a little more. Something in the Benjamin Moore line that's um, pleasing. But I think what I'm getting from everybody is that you prefer to have it stay in the same within 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 reason. I do, you know, maybe like and like I said, maybe we tone down that beige and lighten it up a little bit. That's all. Right, Kathy. You know that. Yeah. That painting that's in the society where we set up the church. Um, um, what do you call it? Like I'm so exhibit. That's what it is. An <laughs> yes. There's a painting there. Um, I think that one of the pawns did. Um, yeah, I think there is one. And um, I mean that has a couple of colors in it. That it has the red and the beigey, yellowy, whatever. I mean, that's something to consider too. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that at the bottom, you know, at the end of the day, this is our one chance to go to change the colors or alter them. Now's the time to do it instead of just repeating what's already there. You know, do we want to, you know, kind of bring it up to, the, you know, Contemporary historic colors or interpretations of historic <laughs> colors. Look your house, Jane. Contemporary can Isn't that a talking historic? That's an oxymoron. Yeah, I was going to say, and contemporary. <laughs> I know. Well, yeah. Um, how would I describe it? I, I mean, it's it's the I know modern. It, I know yeah, say. yeah, but interpretation of a historic color. Who has the final decision? The select um, board. Commission does, or the select board, yeah. Okay. So you're taking suggestions to them and then they're deciding? Yeah. Lynn Roberts, right? Mm -hmm. Roberts. Yeah. yeah. Did you right, say you're here at quarter seven? Yeah. Yes. So I'm going to get off the meeting now, let you guys resume your own business. <laughs> we'll see and then you. if you have any other thoughts, let me know. Okay. Sounds All right, good. Bye. Bye. I just sent the. Link. Wouldn't it almost make sense to have these two boards combined? Well, I mean, I think it would make sense to have some joint meetings every once in a while. Yeah. Well, why why don't we have a combined? Is there a reason? Yeah, I think was well, you have to have a district commission. Yeah. It could be the same group of people, but I think the thought was there was enough specialized work for the yeah. commission because really most of what we should be doing is holding hearings on proposed things. There just aren't right. that many of them. Yeah. I did, um, but those are I said, only I really if somebody extra requests. copies for the men members of the commission if they want them. Um, or somebody can read the whole thing. You know, it's online, this okay. regulating new construction in historic districts. Yeah, yeah. But, and basically what it comes down to is um, subjectivity, really. I mean, there there are. I mean, like in this standards. Yeah, there's standards, and then there's so like, I think a big thing we see a lot like um, like newer homes they won't have the right, or they have like a the more affordable roof pitch. Do you know what right. I mean? Well, what and they I, yeah, what they are saying is basically um, it doesn't have to look like a, an historic house. As a matter of fact, they. But um, just following, just replicating. Yeah, um, but they do say that um, these are the the fresh approach to new construction. Yeah, and as long as it fits the, um, for instance, you don't want if all the roofs are fairly low like they are on, on Washington Street. Right. You don't want someone to come in with this huge Crazy. Yeah. house. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and of course we have. I think the size of a house is certainly going to be regulated um, because of septic and well. Um, yeah, it's usually room count. Yep. So 
so they can kind of get away with it with room count and not Dead square footage. Count, yeah. yeah. So. Um, well, a lot of that, I mean, that's stuff we can't regulate too. Right, that's yeah, that's our, our zoning. But, right. yeah. but I really like this, it seems to very, like it, it, you know, it's about making it fit in. Right. Which I think mm -hmm. is the goal. And not telling people they need to go come in and put in like, uh, you know, a replica. Space. Right. Right. So yeah. this should just, I mean, to me, this would be a, a I guess a section in the design guidelines that just yeah. basically says new construction. Right. New construction. You know, and then maybe yeah. later on where it talks about sheds, it could also say, please refer back to, you know, it should complement the property. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that, yes. That was and another there, there's lapse. also, I mean, there's also a photograph in here of someone who built a garage. A lot of this has to do with, with buildings that are being um, in urban areas. Yeah. You know, but, um, for instance, there's a photograph of a garage next to a an historic house in a district, and the garage just totally overwhelms the house that's adjacent to it. You know, it's so huge. Yeah. Um, so I think that's the sort of thing we, we want to yeah. discourage. But uh, I think the sort of interesting at the end, they suggested um, awarding a yearly awards program for the best project encourages more good design and, and um, calls attention to the diverse projects that meet commission's approval. And well, that would be interesting down the road. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think it's the. Uh, I mean, you can read the whole thing yourself and see if yeah. I pulled out the things that. Why don't we do that? Well, I'll I'll take a look at this. I mean, it looks good, but we'll take a look at it at from now until thing. the next. Yeah. And then you sent um, that to us, right? Did you send it to us or not? This regulating new construction. Yeah. No, I I sent you the sent title. It. All you have to yeah. do is go yeah. online and yeah. type okay. it in. Okay. Um, regulating new construction in historic districts. Yeah. By the National Trust for Historic Preservation. To add. So you may pull out more. There's, she was pretty wordy, I must say, the woman who did this. To um, the existing guidelines. All right. So maybe we'll look over this from now until um the next meeting and then hopefully we can um lower some things to add this to the guidelines would be and but yeah i think well i think we, need to go. we have to yeah we have to work on a revised draft of the guidelines that's and then right. when that's ready right. then we have to hold a hearing to amend them and the other thing i'll do is i'll go to the secretary of the interior standards for rehabilitation et cetera et cetera et cetera well, why don't i mean if we do that I can try and look at solar and then maybe we can potentially have a draft to talk about in July. Okay. If we can pull out, you know, like this that you sent, pull out a chunk of this. Okay. Um, that might be a realistic timeline to be able to talk about something and then hold it, you know, if we're okay, hold a hearing in August maybe. Yeah, some of this is just um, suggestions for us mm. so that we're working with the applicant. Well, I think that's, the, I mean, I, to me, that's what's in our, our design guidelines are not super strict, right. but I think a lot of this is in them so that, that they know what to expect. Like, this is what we're looking for. Yeah. Um, um, all right. So I'm going to look at my schedule. I have, I'm going to try and make my daughter's the last half of her game. So. <laughs> so tonight. Yeah, she's down over at uh, the Memorial Field. Um. So July would be July 18th. I will be here. July 18th at six work. I think if we keep the same scheme. Right? Yep. I'll with it. Add it. David can get his own stuff. Now I'm going to put in my calendar. If something comes up. The agenda. <laughs> yeah, we should probably do the agenda like agenda. the 11th or 12th. Mm. Just because you never Forget. know. I always do. Um, put that in. All right. Do we 
have it in my calendar for the 11th to do that. All righty. That being said, do we have any other questions? Or anything else to touch on that I'm missing? Um, Look at the agenda. Yes, when we're going to have to meet with the planning board, and we don't have to meet with the planning board, but we should be meeting with the planning board. Well, and maybe the select board. We have to, all we have to do is submit our new revised district proposal to the planning board. If they want to have a meeting, that's up to them. That's the step we, we missed. Do you think we should well, amend? I think, that's yeah. the guidelines first and then oh, yeah. I think we, yeah, I think well, I think we need to fix the guidelines. That's a one project. Then I think we need to if we're going to redo Washington Street, I forget what I said the deadline was. Let me check again. Um, we would have to I think we need to amend Washington the whole that proposal as well. Um, oh no, I want November. And then I want to subtract 60 days, was it? Yeah. So it has I'm, to be a hearing. I would say we need to have whatever revised document needs to be done by September 1st. Well, OK. If we want to get everything together, we don't have to resubmit to the state, but we have to have a revised proposal that has to go to the planning board. Um, and then we probably would be in our best interest to hold that public hearing sometime in much earlier. August. Even though it was stupid, I think people so prefer. We plan to do a public, so we'll, at our next meeting, we should. So we have to go to the planning public. board before we have a hearing? We don't have, no, we just have to submit the proposal to them. Like we're doing a thing. That's all we have to do. We don't have to go to them. We don't have to have a hearing. We just have to formally hand them the document for some reason. Was that their argument? Was it's that, the same law. We no, was that Kevin Meehan's that, argument? Their, their yeah, argument? that we missed that step and they were going to. Though they, they had all the lawyers they sent. I mean, I guess he's not wrong. You know, there's a process. It's very convoluted and it made it sound like you only had to do that for a new district. Right. Not That's change, but apparently we were supposed to do it for everything. Yeah, I, the way the law read, it, it sounded like you had to do it for the first district, but when you're expanding them, you don't. Um. So, hi. All right. So then, uh, next meeting, we're going to schedule a public hearing. We have to talk about. I mean, yeah, we can schedule the meeting, and I just, I would, I think we should do the meeting in September, not on the day before the town meeting in November. Yeah. That's all. Right. So for um, our next meeting, would be July. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So July eighteenth. I mean, I don't know if there's, there, I think there's probably some minor revisions to the Washington Street. I mean, it seemed like the, the big issues were the inclusion of non-historic houses. So maybe we need to reconsider the last few. I don't know, but. I, did the people who were in non-historic houses have any issues? Um, I don't know. I just know that that was one of the items that was raised at the hearing was they I were know. very perturbed that new houses were in the district. So if we have to, I think we just have to make sure that there's a really strong justification. There are new houses in every yeah. district. Right. Yeah. But we should have those numbers, exactly how many, because. And they weren't, when, you know, when we spoke to homeowners, we didn't get any. You know what, I think we should encourage more of those homeowners on Washington Street to come to the meeting. So that when these people are here, there's some. Mm. Um, They'll come. Th yeah. Yeah. They'll mm -hmm. come. Mm. Because there was not, I mean, these people had the whole say. There was no one to. Well, it was just to. Yeah. Right. That's what I say. So, I mean, if, we, if there just had been some the representative for the we person agreed. making the development, yeah. might have been, there might have been some argument there. But, and the other thing, and I know Jack Hunter said he'll come talk to us. We almost can't talk about development. A historic district right. cannot be used to regulate development. It should have nothing to do with development. Right. That was like, apparently he was like beside himself that apparently in, a, in some meeting it was mentioned that, so I think we just have to be very careful about what, you know, the goal is. It's not to stop the development. It's not to do anything. It, well, I don't you know. know what meeting that was. I think the only thing I, it probably came up way before, mm. but. Hmm. 
I think one of the things where that came up that I was listening to was the meeting with, it was the planning board, where John Neenart actually said that he had been talking with Kathy and the Historical Commission about design guidelines for a proposed new development, which was actually not the case. Right. But that was what was actually mentioned at that planning board meeting. Hmm. So that, and that had not been discussed. The, Right. No, we were aware of, yeah. So, that was the only time I'd heard anything yeah. about the design of the building because when we had gone up there originally, mm -hmm. the design was already made. Okay. I will. Yeah. And, and I, I think you can't really control what the homeowners are feeling hmm. that, you know, about they would like to be a district and they also see what's coming down the pike. And, you know, I mean, it's hard to separate those two. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think maybe we need to explain that to Jack that it wasn't, you know, you know, the, I think the intention was to make it a district to protect its integrity, you know, and what happens after that is what hopefully will be managed. Um, Not only that, but I think the, the prospect of making it a district was discussed long before any um, Oh, yeah. Development was oh, yeah. was in the works. Absolutely. You know that and North Avenue. Those were the two yeah. areas that we were talking about. And that was actually made very clear to the homeowners when we went when we went round door to door. You know, everyone was kind of, oh, we want to stop. We said, no, 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 no. You, you got this wrong. This is not about stopping anybody doing right. anything because that's not what our intention right. is. Our intention was just to talk to people about preserving what we have. But if anybody wants to do anything else, then the towns is within, you know, it's up to the town to decide what they can and can't allow. But that was right. not the purpose of the district. Well, it was just that, to protect those homes. But you can't, I mean, you can't stop any development. No, and I don't think that that, that definitely was made very clear to all homeowners that that was not the intent. I'm going right. to if we're... adjourn the historic district meeting at okay. 6.56, okay? And we have our next meeting, July 18th at 6 p.m. Okay. I'm okay. going to softball game. <laughs>